you know, obviously kids are fired up in the locker room, making a lot of noise. Uh, you know, first off, you know, Syracuse is a good football team. You know, uh, Scott Schaefer had those guys coached up like I knew he would. They play tough, they play hard. And, uh, you know, our guys just made a few more plays today than, uh, than they, they did. Um, you know, we find a different way to win every week, you know. Uh, nice thing is that field goal at the end is Chris Blewett, you know, his money, um, like we thought he would be. Um, you know, that last drive was a 9 minute, 20 second, 19 play drive. And we had talked all along, I know you guys had said, hey coach, you know, your defense has been on the field for the, you know, the last three games to finish the games off. And we had talked about, you know, doing that, you know. Things happen for a reason. Our offense, you know, sputtered a little bit. We had a little fake, fake punt action and uh you know our kids executed it you know to perfection uh, you know we you know we executed to perfection it's exactly what we thought we'd get we had two options really three options quarterback or you know uh ryan to run the ball or hit hit uh, uh george ashton on, on the seven route or uh hit Columbus on the flat route so did a heck of a job executing gives us a you know first and ten and in nine minutes and 20 second drive that's that's big time. That's how you win football games. I'm sure we won the time of possession without seeing stats just because of that one drive. So uh, with that, I'll leave it open to you guys. I'm sure you got some questions. Could, could you walk us through, you know, sort of your thinking of calling that fake on fourth and whatever? Yeah, I did a good job acting because I know Scott was probably looking over. And, uh, you know, I looked and said, hey, run the fake. It wasn't, it wasn't much to talk. And I walked out of the sideline kind of like this. And, and uh, <laughs> you know, like, son, we're not, we're not going to put it down. And, and uh, there we go. Pat, did the field position matter there? Like, were you thinking at that time of the game, you would fake it depending on down the distance, or did you have to be like at midfield? To... Oh, you can fake it anyway. It doesn't matter where you fake it. It was just a matter of the time in the game. We had, had a good drive up to that point, and I thought, you know, I think the quarterback's a heck of a football player that we're going to have to face for the next three years. I think he's, you know, he's a good player. Um, he was making plays, he was throwing deep ball, playing good, and our guys weren't making as many plays as we'd like to. Um, but, you know, I felt a lot of confidence in what our offense was doing. And, and I had a lot of faith in that that uh, that uh, fun thing. And our, our guys, uh, you know, I told you before, I told you yesterday when we did our walkthrough, we're running it. So he said, I don't care what the score is, we're running it. And so I think mentally prepared themselves that it wasn't a maybe call, it was going to be called. What was the big difference in the defense in the second half? You know, what is it every week? I don't know, Jerry. I mean, I think Coach Connor and the defense staff does a good job of adjusting. And, and, you know, he had two big turnovers. And the second one, I think the first one didn't lead to anything. The second one leads to a touchdown. And, and it really ignited us. We talked about we need to catch on fire. And, and uh, that second thing, except by Glombos, uh, who, you know, might be the player of the week, huh? DJ, the player of the week, catching a big punt. And the interception led, you know, uh, both these things led to points. But, uh, you know, what it is. How much time did you spend preparing for their fakes this week? Did you enjoy the irony that you guys kind of wanted on your yeah, fakes? Well, yeah, we prepared a lot for their fakes. I mean, they've had a bunch. You know, I know Scott is a, is an aggressive coach, you know, like I am. And we prepared you know, for them. I think we were locked into what we needed to do. And, and uh, you know, we had an opportunity to do it. Can you share any of your conversation with Scott after the game? Um, that's personal. I made it personal. How did you feel about your team's sort of mental approach today coming into this game with the ranking and all that stuff? Well, we had a great, I think, I think we had a great approach. I think they had a good game plan. I think they did some great things. I mean, they're, they're a tough football team, like I said. You know, I think anybody, just watch how they played LSU, you know, top 25 team. I mean, they played LSU tough. And, uh, and I knew we were going to get the same effort. We were going to get the Virginia effort. We were going to get the LSU effort. And, uh, you know, that, that's what we got. Did they throw it up to eight more than you'd seen on, on film, or do you think that's just a product of your scheme and, you know? You know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, they're going to throw it to either one of those guys. I mean, that's 17 to tall, you know, to tall dude, too. Holy cow. Um, and they make plays. I mean, we had some guys in the position make plays, and, and they made them a few times, and, and we did. And, you know, that's, that's way we, you know, could become sometimes. Is there another play on that drive other than the fake play? that you circle and say, this was a key key? Well, there's a bunch of them. I mean, I think every now when you're eating up the clock like you are, and you're, you convert the third down. I mean, obviously that last third down, right. too. You know, with I think Olson convert, that was huge. You know, they tried to you know, review it. I thought, gosh, I need to get three. I need to get three for three. <laughs> These are three plays, I and mean, they were kidding. We were zero for one, and they were three for two for two for three, I guess. Um, but you know, I didn't know what they were going to see up in the booth. Uh, but uh, that was a huge first down. Obviously, it allowed us to not just kick a field goal there, but also kick the big clock and, and not give their offense a chance to go back on the field. That's that's big time. Your offensive line played much better. Please. Our offensive line has gradually gotten better every week. I mean, we have packages. The books are getting out there today. I'm not sure how that worked, but they, they continue to get better and, uh, and build confidence.
Now, what does a fourth quarter come back say about your team? This is the first one since 2009. You know, I think it just tells you that our guys have uh, maybe taken a step forward in the game of belief. Uh, they, you know, we talked about the fourth quarter. You can see the party they have out there in the fourth quarter. They believe we can win in the fourth quarter. And that's what we're doing. You, know, you, you have to play 60 minutes. It's not a 58 minute game, it's not a 30 minute game. You've got to win games in the fourth quarter. And the kids believe and understand what you're coaching and you continue to coach them through the game positively. And you're going to get positive results. Else. What was the fake punt? Was it a read at all, or was it just a straight fake? We're gonna run it. Um, it was a straight fake. No, no, there's nothing I call it off. You're, you're on to it. Felt good. And, uh, what it was. Uh, How about Ford's uh, catch uh, on that third down play? Coming out of the end zone, that was a huge, you know, huge catch, huge catch. Uh, and you know, it was an unbelievable throw ball because Nathan threw that thing way before he came out of his break and you know, Nathan believed he'd be there. Got this was exactly what he needed to be. It was a big, big time catch. And you know, let's you know, talk about Tyler Boyd, holy cow. You know, we got we got the rest of this one. I don't even practice the guy. You know, how many carries he had and how many catches, but he's a he's a beast. He's a beast. Any clown for coach? Have you, have you guys felt good about Olsen as like a workhorse back kind of all year or he's kind of worked up to the, the trust factor today? That's our New York back right there, right? That's a New Yorker right there. Um, you know, he's, you know, that's what we felt all along. I mean, he's really come on every week, you know, as well as our offensive line does. He's trusting the blocking and, and uh, Coach Powell did a great job uh, in coaching him up on where to go and how to, how to hit him. He's been hitting it pretty good in here. Ready for some Oh, yeah. <laughs> we only have one more away game with the rest of the year. That's unbelievable. <laughs>